For the 17th time in my life, I'm going to attempt to make a tiny little game. Look at this little guy. This is the point and click adventure toolkit that was free in July. It's for Unreal Engine. Look at that. Uh, I'm just going to talk about what I did to get to this place, which all that really is, is me dropping my character into the tutorial. I didn't design any of that or set up any of the mechanics, but I wanted to go through this part of the process. So first I went to Rococo's website, their motion capture company, and I downloaded the Blender plugin that they provide for free. You have to create a Rococo account, but you can use it for free. It's great for retargeting animation. Then I went to the Mixima website, which you also need an account for, but you can log in for free. Then I typed in the word walk into the search, and I looked at a couple walks, and I picked one. Uh, here's me picking, uh, I picked a backwards one. There's one that looks fine, probably. Uh, what I did do was I checked in place to make sure that it was constantly in motion and wouldn't actually like move along the y-axis. Then I widened the arms a whole lot because my character's topology just has wide arms. There we go, there's a little strutting. I can imagine that as my character. Then I downloaded it. You have to press download twice, just uh, for fun. And then I took my character, moved him over to the side, shoved him over... Here I am showing you how I shoved him over. Then I imported the walk cycle. I was scaling it up for no reason other than the comparison. The scale has no impact on the animation. So here I have the animation cycle that I exported from Mixamo, my character, and now I have the Rococo app open. I'm checking a source and a target, and it allows you to manually rename the Mixamo bones one-to-one -one with your bones, whatever you named your bones. So here I am kind of checking to figure out what they're calling their bones, and I'm renaming my bones, and I'm renaming my own bones because uh, everything I do is messed up and janky. Um, I'm deleting some information because the less information you transfer over, the simpler things are going to be, typically. I'm looking at all of this, and I'm like, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Guess what, guys? And um, it worked first try, not a problem. But just to be safe, I went ahead and did a couple more passes uh, just just to, to show you as an example, no, I totally messed it up, but then finally, oh, I got it working. And let me tell you, I spent a good 10 minutes just kind of, I made him happy because he was happy, I was happy, everyone was happy, deleted the Mixamo model because no one wants that bitch anymore. And I just kind of enjoyed the fruits of my labor. I didn't animate this. All I did was transfer somebody else's animation over, but oh my God, does it feel good. Then what did I do? I hung out for a bit. I'm sure I did something. Uh, looks like I'm just checking to make sure that there is no keyframes on the, the root motion of the character and that it truly just transferred keyframe information over from the Mixamo rig. And surely I made some progress at some point. Oh, I kind of I think I complained about the NLA editor, about how I don't understand it. And then I went and showed you at the Blender Market the next add-on that I'm going to be using, which is the Animation Layers add-on. Maya has Animation Layers, I think, but Blender does not. But some dude built it, and I like using it. And essentially, it's just basically like a custom version of the NLA editor, but it just makes more sense and it keeps me from scaring myself and freaking out. And what I'm doing is essentially I'm rotating uh, and adjusting bones uh, at, an, at a layer above the base layer of the animation itself. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking at his little feet and seeing that they're clipping through any kind of ground that could be. And I'm making adjustments. And this was, I spent like an hour doing this. Uh, and I won't make you sit through all of it, but I will make you sit through some because I'm very proud of it. There I am making the box 3D because when I set it to profile view, I couldn't see the depth of the plane and I wanted to see if his, making sure his feet were lining up. And I just wanted them flush with any kind of ground. Uh, if I ever learn how to use the control rig in Unreal Engine, I think you can dynamically adjust the feet so that they will rise and fall with... Uh, the topology of your landscape, but I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to figure that out. You know, my brain power is uh, pretty limited, and it took me years to be able to just do stuff like this without having it look embarrassing. So all of this right now is just one leg, just getting one leg semi-flush, uh, still clipping through, but just to a point where it's slightly less embarrassing. Uh, I think I deleted my entire work on the second foot because, holy crap, who would want to watch that? And I decided that his elbows were swaying a little too much and so I kind of just uh, tempered those and finally I ended up with a I baked all it down I pushed it all down to a single strip once I was happy with it happy enough then I brought it all into Unreal Engine and there's the final product and I sat and watched that for a while he's still a little he's got too much swagger for me but most people do I actually uh, am kind of a petty person but for the most part I was content with how that turned out off camera I accidentally made like a 
an idle cycle. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I just kind of got carried away. And so I had him look around and just stand there. It was pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't loop perfectly, so I might have to go back to edit that. And hey, look at that. Uh, success, first try. You know, some things just will always work out for some people, and I'm one of those lucky people. So uh, again, second test here. You can see that's the point and click tutorial. Just bam, right off the bat, everything is working perfectly. So now we got him small. At least he's the right size of his environment, but you can probably see that his walk cycle is too slow for the speed he's moving at. I don't know how to change the walk cycle speed yet, uh, so I just adjusted his walk cycle speed to match the click and point, but he, he, I can make him like move around the little scene, and he can do stuff, and that's how I spent the last, I don't know, couple of days. Look at that, he can turn his crank, <laughs> and head up some stairs. I mean, this is gonna be great. I'm excited for my journey. I'm gonna try to learn more and see if I can do more, but who knows, I don't know. I don't want to fail, but I've been prone to. Uh, goodbye.